All right, so this is a little something a, a little bit different. Uh, this is the PU Ladder Tour Finals between uh, Kios and Asa, or All Star Apology. This is the third and final game of the match of the series. Um, both both uh, players have taken game one. Uh, Kios has loaded up his um, his I'm assuming the his um, the most common. I mean, not his most common. Uh, his infamous uh, team, uh, Hen, uh, Mudfell, Belly Bolt, AV Globro, uh, Bombardier, Scarf Florges, and of course the Ambi Palm. Uh, Asa is running a bit of a different. Ooh, Soak! Soak Belly Bolt, okay. And Cash has the Toxic on the incoming Mudsdale, so I'm assuming. So, this, so because it's Soak, it means it definitely doesn't have a water move. So it must be like Mono Volt Switch or Parabolic. It has to be Parabolic Charge, actually, I'm feeling. I guess it'll be Volt Switch, though. And by soaking the Mudsdale, you can take less damage from Earthquake, but I don't see the point in her trying to do that when she has a whole Bronzong. Uh, very interesting team um, from All Star Apology, for sure. Soak Belly Bolt with Electromorphosis. So at the very least, um, Kia doesn't have to worry about anything giving Static Parrot uh, this time because that did come up a lot in Game 2. Um, Bronze is going to come out as Rocks go up. Um, and then from here, I guess the Bronze can just go for Rocks itself. As Bombardier comes out, yep. So Bombardier is going to get another knockoff here or a U-turn. Um... I guess the play from Asa is just to go Belly Bolt as I guess it's going to double into Slowbro catching the Belly Bolt. Which is okay. So this just means a free Volt Switch back in the Bronzong. Does he catch him with the Flamethrower? No, he's just going to Shell Sidearm. Which is, which is alright. Now I'm just trying to figure out what does Bronzong actually do in this situation after, because Rock's already up. I guess he just okay. Try to just chip this down with um heavy slam. Um, does Psychic though? I guess I guess because of the last game, Asa was like double switching a lot. Um, so Kia was just trying to predict in case she went hard Salazzle for whatever reason, predicting like um shell side arm or flamethrower. Going to protect. Going to psychic again though. Okay. Uh, very interesting. So stealth rock protect heavy slam. I'm assuming the fourth one's going to be body press. It's the you know, it makes the most sense here. Because you need to be able to like catch like Sraf, the other dark types. This one a flamethrower, do a massive chunk, thankfully no burn. Um, this Bedep Drop it is kind of hindering it a bit. So protect again just to get more leftover recovery. And I'm assuming it's gonna volt switch, yeah. I mean you can still like stay in and heavy slam and be just be a bit more aggressive. I mean the downside is you are minus one spadef though. And your your floor just check is well your defensive floor just check is getting severely weakened. At this point, psychic noise that's pretty good. Um, at the very least, they can't switch out right now, but playing throw on protect the heal block ends so it can switch out. You get the regenerator, does go belly bolt on the incoming, on the opposing belly bolt. They're trying to catch the static para. Um, um, H does get to slack off here, but. Um, belly, um, Kies's belly bolt can just go for toxic. I'm gonna double back into slow bro on the slack, and then now since it's another case of volt switching again, this assault this slow bro is just coming in and doing whatever, <laughs> and it kind of puts it, it puts Aces in a in a tough spot spot though because what do you go into defensively? This one is soak though, shell side arm. Uh, no poison this time. Does she double soak? No, she just goes for the Volt Switch. Alright, Bronzong's gonna come back out and put him on the Body Press, or the Roar. 
as Volleyball comes back out, so that's bad for Asa, good for Kias. And then from here, it's like. He's gonna do go back in the. Goes for just this time on the Earth. Ooh, that was a. Oh, this is Zoroark. Zoroark, I was, I was, I was thinking like hard Florges, but no. I guess he was expecting him to roar again. Body presses this time. Ooh. So yeah, this Mudsdale is now putting in some massive work. But getting rid of weakening Mudsdale helps out the Tauros. So now Zoroark comes back in on the Belly Bolt. Um, Dark Pulse can come out here. I don't know her set though. I know she's Boots at the very least. Okay, so we do get the U-turn back into Salazzle. Um, Salazzle does little psychic noise, but at the same time, do you want to take that? You can at the very least force it into psychic noise and then go like Zorg, but... Like, where, where does that leave you? Because, like, Globro's coming out right now. Unless the Salazzle itself has, um... Unless the Salazzle itself is, like, corrosion toxic, which I feel like it it could be. Like, just because Assault Vest Slowbro is so annoying for Ace's team to deal with, just defensively and offensively. Like, if this is corrosion toxic, or even, like, toxic knockoff, it's it would be really, really good into that Globro right now. And unfortunately, she does get crit with Psychic Noise. That... That sucks. Really, really bad. So Zoro's gonna come back out now. She's locked into the screw which is choice locked into psychic noise. Yeah, so Lazo took at most 77 from that um from the psychic noise there. So that's really really unfortunate that she did not get off any damage. So he's gonna taunt on the slack off. Yeah, really good play by Kias. Um, and I'm assuming Mudsdale is going to want to come out now. Mudsdale or the opposing, or yeah, or Globro, just to keep up offensive pressure. Alright, so Zoroark is going to come back out. But, I'm assuming, yeah, just go into Bombardier and take the knockoff. And, I'm assuming, yeah, u turns want to kill. Alright, so... So now, uh, um, Toros Aqua's in, Belly Bolt is in now, um, the free Volt Switch, since she, Ace doesn't have a ground type, uh, I'm assuming Florge is going to come out on the Toxic, or, yeah, Volt Switch is into Globro, or Ambipom, Ambipom works too, because Bronzong is already weakened enough as is, so yeah, go Toro to get the Intimidate off on the Fake Out. Uh, I believe it's this is Silk Scarf uh, Ampy Palm if I remember correctly. Um, catches the Belly Bow with Earthquake, so that's a really really good play. It is not static though, so that's also good information. Um, so Zoro's gonna come out and Terra Water immediately and then slack off. Do we see a? Uh, oh, we see Encore. Okay, knockoff U-turn Encore Zork, but it's gonna die to the uh, to the knockoff. So it was a, it was a, more or less a sack. Um, as long as the um, belly bolts around Toros is still kept in check, um, Ambi Palm can check this with Fake Out priority. I believe the play is going into making the offensive play into Toros as for the intimidate. It's going to U-turn into floor, into belly bolt and then just get up another Volt Switch. Sack off Bronzong here to bring back in Globro or Ambipom. I feel it's to play. But if you force in Tauros, then you go into Belly Bolt. If you force in, if you go Ambipom, Ambipom forces in pretty much anything at this point. Collect that's, that's Banded Tauros. Um, Scarf Florges also baits in their Florges. Because you always have Globro in the back to go into. Oh, 
and then from there you just um, spam shell side arm. Uh, but it's going to catch the. Um, oh, it's boots. It's boots throw, so it's not banded. I mean, that's it's Zoroark. What am I saying? What am I saying? That is Zoroark. <laughs> Alright, so she got the double right, so from here you just go back into Belly Bolt, yeah, like you can't stop the, um, oh, it's going to Terra Dark and knock off, uh, very interesting Terra there, but I guess they just want to get the most damage possible with the, um, Dark Stab, um, I don't know what Zoro's going to do from here, though, is the other thing. Yeah, but now you definitely want to keep Zoroark around for the, um, for Globro. So you are going to sack off your own Belly Bolt here to the Volt Switch. Or, yeah, it doesn't really matter which, what do you do here. This goes Ambipalm or Florges. And just, if it goes Ambipalm, you just U-turn out. If it goes Florges, it's whatever. The Florges just goes for Moonblast. And then Ace is going to go on to her own Florges, and then this comes down to a Speed Tie. No, Globro just comes back out anyway. But yeah, she is going to catch that and just go for it for the, uh, try to go for another knockoff here. I think Belly Bolt would also be in range of two knockoffs. Because she definitely has, Kia definitely wants to keep this thing around. Because as long as Globro is around, Florges cannot win. Like, between Globro and Belly Bolt, I'm pretty sure Kias is fine. There's also the Scarf um, Floor just that just outspeeds everything. So yeah, now it just comes down to what does Kias want to sack here. I feel like the I feel like the play is just going straight sacking off Ambipalm and then going for and bringing out Floor just again. Yeah. Oh, it lived anyway. So yeah, Ambipalm gets a free hit, which is good. That's really good for Kias. I mean, he can't switch out, but he's not going to. Just gonna fake out, or whatever. So you just sack this, whatever. And then you just go into your Scarf Floor just anyway. And then, yeah, I think, I think between Globro and Florges, I think Kias has this game wrapped up. Yeah, I think the, the main thing that just really set Ace back a lot was the, uh, the Salasso getting crit by Psychic Noise. Like, having that extra insurance, like, having the ability, I don't know what the Salazzle set was, obviously, but, like, having the ability to have the potential to maybe Corrosion to Toxic the, uh, Globro or not have additional, like, knockoff support would have been better beneficial as well. But, like, Flourishes can't beat Globro, um, Charles can't knock out Globro in one hit, plus there's a Scarf Flourishes in the back, and Zoroark is slower than, um, I'm s I'm surprised they make that play. Why didn't it just... Wouldn't sacking Ambipalm been better there? You sack Ambipalm, you go into your own Florges, and you just spam Moonblast. Hmm, interesting play. Because, like, this... I don't really know what... You get out of the turn by going hard slow, bro. There, like, I, I just felt that keeping Ambipom in and just getting your damage off would have been the best play because then you get in Florages. You keep your slow, bro, healthy for their Florages. That just it just felt like the most beneficial thing. Like that was a, a misplay. 
I guess, nah, I mean, even so, the, the Ambipom dies to rocks, so I don't know why Kia saved it, especially considering the boots got knocked off. Like, I feel like the play was always to just stay in with Ambipom on the Tauros. Now you're cutting it really, really close now. Because now it's going to, now it, it, you're, you're risking it coming down to a, 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 a Scarf Forge at Speed Tie. And I felt like you didn't have to make that play to sack to go hard um, slow bro there on the uh, Tauros. You could have just sacked Ambipom. Okay, now it doesn't even matter because now you're. I guess we now have two sacks now. And the slow bro got regenerator, so. Alright, so it works out anyway, because he goes Globro, you go Tauros, you sack off Ambipom to... Sack off Ambipom or Belly Bolt to, uh, to Rocks, you bring back in Globro. So yeah, this it still worked out in the end, but I still think that was cutting it a little bit too close for comfort there. Why didn't he go back into Slowbro? Well, I, I mean, I, I guess it didn't matter, because AV, because at the range of HP Slowbro's at already, it didn't really... It could have definitely lived, um... Psychic Noise. And even Terroring doesn't help. He Oh, he forgot about the knockoff. Okay, that explains it. He he forgot he yeah, he went hard Ambipom on the Zoroark. Yeah, but it doesn't really matter. Cause now Slowbro I mean I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, you have to you have to aqua jet because you're you're slower than um, scarf uh, floor just. So yeah, that's going to be the game. And just psychic noise, live, and then shell side arm for game. So yeah, that was a really interesting end game, but it just came down to Kies forgetting. I guess this probably would have been like a three zero, but <clears throat> maybe a four zero. Doubtful, but. Yeah, it came down to like Kies forgetting about Ambipom's boots getting knocked off, and I, I am surprised. Why did he make that? Okay, I guess Slowbro. Yeah, Slowbro wins anyway, but still. Actually, no, it doesn't. No, no, Toros dies to rocks. I'm pretty sure Toros dies to rocks. Yeah. Oh yeah, those, yeah, Tauros died already. So yeah, that's this, it was. I was confused because the Tauros was still um, it still showed on the side there. But uh, yeah, that was a game. the The ending was a little bit weird, I felt. But yeah, it was just came. It really just came down to not having a way to deal with that Globro at the end. I felt that the 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 ending could have been a little bit played a little bit differently. But like I said, Kia said he forgot about the his boots being knocked off. If he didn't forget, then he definitely would. He he definitely would have stayed in on the um. He definitely would have stayed in on the Tauros instead of instead of switching out. But it just it just meant that Silver got back more regenerator recovery, if anything. But uh, yeah, that's these the that is the finals for PU for the PU Lava Tour. Congrats to Kia on winning. Uh, the whole thing and of course congratulations to Asa for making it all the way to finals so really happy to see our co-tier leader uh, putting in some massive work and making it all the way to the finals this um, as a lower seed so that's that was really really cool to see interesting and some really really cool tech but um, from both sides but uh, yeah I'll leave it at that for now thank you guys so much for watching and until the next time this is Tone signing off for now peace out